Okay, welcome back, second grade. We are ready for our reading lesson. So if you could, out of your folder, make sure that you have your paper that says, my family, and it says, thank you notes for my family. After I read the story, we're gonna do one of the thank you notes together, and then one or two of them together, and then you're gonna have to do a couple of the thank you notes on your own from what you hear in the family, why you might thank that person in the family. Okay, and you'll be writing those out. So here we go. The story is My Family. Now we've listened to this story two different times. So here it is for the third time, okay? I am Camelia. I live in Miami with my mother, Damaris, and my father, Roberto, and my brother, Renee. My mother came from Cuba, my father came from Puerto Rico. My mother and I go to school together. That's because she teaches Spanish in my school. When we are at home, I like to help her cook dinner. Sometimes when my grandma Marta comes to visit, I dress up and put on a show for her. Today, she is teaching me a song it goes like this. There once was a sailor at sea who liked to play the guitar. When he remembered his faraway land, he picked his guitar and started to sing on the high sea, on the high sea, on the high sea. Repeat. <clears throat> Rene is my little brother. Our friends and family come to our house for his birthday. We play games, eat, and sing happy birthday to him. Here is my family, grandmother Marta and grandfather R R Rigoberto had four children. Almost all of them came to Renee's birthday party. Marta and Rigoberto, they had Andreas and Darlene, whose children are Victor and Mar Isabella. They had Maria Irene and Victor, whose children are Victoria, Valeria, and Vanessa. Then we have Marticia and Miguel, and their children are Gabriel and Lucita. Then we have Demirius and Roberto, my family. And we have Renee and Camilla. Grandma came with Aunt Maria Irene and Victoria. Uncle Andres came with Victor and Mara Isabel. Aunt Marticia, Uncle Miguel, Gabriella, and Leticia came too. Soon the house was full. We played many games. Aunt Maria Irene showed us how to play hopscotch. Little Leticia put on a crown to dance. Grandpa Regoberto danced with cousin Mar Isabel. <clears throat> on Sundays, we go to church with Grandma. Then we go to Aunt Marticia's and Uncle Miguel's house. After lunch, we play music and sing. Uncle Miguel plays the double bass. Uncle Andres plays the violin. Aunt Darlene plays the piano. Victor plays the clarinet. And Mar Isabel plays the flute. <coughs> we spend the rest of the day in the backyard. The grown-ups play dominoes while Uncle Andreas tells funny stories. Gabriella and I sit on the porch and paint pictures. What I like best is when Papi takes us fishing. Most of the time, my hook gets stuck on the rock. I can't wait to catch my first fish. So that's our story about Camille and her family. So now we are going to look at our thank you notes. So get your paper for your thank you notes. <clears throat> 
And this is what we're going to do. It says, thank you notes to my family. I am Camilla. I want to write thank you notes. I want to write notes to thank my family. You can help me write the notes. Use examples from the text. The text is the story that I just read. And photographs to show how each family member is special to me. So thinking about what we read in the story, and if you need to, you can stop and start this over so you can re-listen to that story as many times as you need to as you write your thank you notes. Okay, then you're going to write a note to some people. So the very first note says, we're going to reread page 45. Think about what makes mom special to me. So as I read page 45 again, I want you to think about what makes mom special? Why is mom so special? So here's page 45. My mother and I go to school together. That's because she teaches Spanish in my school. When we are at home, I like to help her cook dinner. So think about that. Why is her mom special? What does her mom do for her? What does she do with her mom? Okay? So, your note says, dear, I'm sorry. Your note says, dear mom. And then at the bottom it says, love Camellia. Because we've already got that dear. So, what is it that she could thank her mommy for? She could thank her mommy for going to school with her and teaching Spanish. She could thank her mommy for cooking her dinner. She could thank her mommy for allowing her to cook dinner with her mommy. So I need you to write a sentence what, you would, what Camelia would thank her mommy for. Okay? So I'm going to write my sentence thanking, her, thanking Camilla's mommy for making dinner. So when you're doing this, you are pretending to be Camilla, writing the note. So I'm going to say... Thank you, Mom. For making dinner. Period. So, here Camilla is thanking her mom. Thank you, Mom, for making dinner. Because that's what mommies do. They make you dinner. Okay, so you may pause so you can think about what you might want to say. What do you want to thank mommy for? Camilla's mommy for. So go on and pause and do your sentence. Okay, now I'm going to reread page 46. Okay. And this time, the thank you note is to Grandma Mar Marta. See? Grandma Marta. It says, read page 46. And I'm going to reread that to you. Think about what makes Grandma Marta special. What makes Grandma Marta special to Camilla? Well, let's listen. Sometimes when Grandma Marta comes over to visit... I dress up and put on a show for her. Today, she is teaching me a song. It goes like this. There once was a sailor at sea who liked to play the guitar. When he remembered his faraway land, he picked his guitar and started to sing. On the high sea, on the high sea, on the high sea. Repeat. So, what was it that Grandma Marta did for Camilla? What could she thank her grandma for? Well, she would dress up and play, play dress up and sing for her grandma. But her grandma taught her a new song. So she could thank her grandma for teaching her a new song. So I'm going to write, thank you for teaching me a new song. Thank you 
for teaching me a a new song. Here you go. So that's what I wrote. Thank you for teaching me a new song. So I want you to pause. I want you to write down a sentence what Camilla can thank her grandma for. What makes grandma special? Okay, so go on and pause it and go on and do that. Okay, now on the back side, <coughs> it says to read page 52. So I'm going to read that to you again. Think about what makes Aunt Marticia special to me. So I want you to listen for what Aunt Marticia does that is so special for Camellia. Listen to my story. On Saturdays, we go to church with Grandma. Then we all go to Aunt Marticia and Uncle Miguel's house. After lunch, we play music and sing. So what is it that Aunt Marticia does at her house that is special for Camilla? Okay, think about that. What is it that she does that is special? I'm not going to tell you this one. I want you to write this one on your own. So go on and pause. Think about it and write down what Aunt Marticia does that is special for Camilla. If you need to listen to the story again, to that part, you can go back and always listen. Okay. The last one the bottom of the page, down here at the bottom. It says, read page 57. Think about what makes Pappy special to me. What makes her Pappy special to her? Okay, so listen to my story. What I like best is when Pappy takes us fishing. Most of the time, my hook gets stuck on a rock. I can't wait to catch my first fish. So think about it. What is it that makes Peppy special to her? What does he do that makes it special? I want you to go on and think about that. Pause the, pause the story and go on and write your sentence down. What makes Peppy special? Okay, good job. That is the end of our reading lesson for the day. Make sure that your name is on your paper and you put this back in the Wednesday folder. This goes back in your Wednesday folder. I'll be back in just a couple of minutes with some more information for you on your next assignment. Thank you.